Yo, 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 guys. So if you didn't see already, I posted the patch notes for season three. And right now, all I'm going to be talking to you about is unique spirit stones. I'm just going to show what the ones that already exist do. Say the difference in effect and then talk about the two new ones per element. For some of the new ones, the names are unclear as they're in Chinese. So bear with me, but I can still give you the effects. And I'm pretty sure that's what you care about. If you're unaware of this, with season seven, with uh, season three, when you seven star a player with four dimension cost, you can change the color of stones, allowing them to equip the unique of your choice. So you can really choose between any of the uniques I'm gonna throw at you today. And knowing that I'm basically gonna throw at you 30 uniques, there's a lot of options. Now, some uniques that have been changed. The ones we all know were going to be changed are especially the Andor ones. The least affected I would say is really light and I don't even remember Wormwind was affected at all. Well, let's go down. First of all, Endless Burning Matter. Now I'm going to talk to you about the maxed out effect compared to this effect which sadly isn't maxed out, but I'm pretty sure all of you know what they do. So Endless Burning Matter decreases attack power of enemy within position, that is gone. It decreases critical rate of enemy within position up to 15%. Again, for all of you, I'm going to be putting the patch notes in the description. So if you just want to skip to that, just do it. I'm just going to be doing a commentary for comparisons, especially when the disinformation is gone. Now, Blazing Essence used to be considered the worst and or penetration stone. No one used it. They used the Teradox Blood, who's, already, who's still pretty good, I'm going to say. But this thing was never used. So now it has been changed to increase attack power by 50% without a condition. It just is. And now the stone makes sense again. And increase crit rate by 45% with a penetration or steel. Or steel basically meaning your action bar needs to be the one that's full. Who's pretty cool. I'm going to say now it starts having value. Now I'm going to say this one barely got hit. Uh, increase attack power by 25% of a critical hit, the same current max, but it's gonna do a max crit rate, has been lowered by 5% for the crit rate increase. That's so neglectable, it, it's not even worth mentioning. If you're using it and you're happy with it, you're fine, you can live with it. Now, the Ander store who got hit the most. Ignition Catalyst, who I personally now find at the level of junk. It's basically the new blazing essence of Andor. What does it do? 30% action board at the beginning of the match. No longer 60, 30. Just think of how little that is. That's basically Milky Way's music start, and you need an entire stone for that? It increased pass effect of players within the position by 15%. Not the team, the position. I don't know why someone would use this. But I guess maybe some of you will find a use for it. You always do. And I have honestly no use for it. Now, the next stone is has one stat who I kind of find extremely annoying. And I know that people are going to stick this on LA. It's, we're a goalkeeper, but really LA makes more sense. Increase max life by 40%. That's really good and increase co-op activation by 8%. So meaning, he's gonna co-op more. So basically, something mid, you can give it to them, it could be cool. I'm not saying no, I'm just saying you need to know what you're doing, and I don't have the name for that stone. I, I don't know which icon it has in the patch notes, so you can guess. You just know it's one of the two Andors. The next one is gonna be something that I'm, I'm just, I'm just like, shocked at how cool it is i think they said the translation was the will of lucian again no idea what the name is uh increased penetration resistance by 25 that is just like godly and increased critical resistance by 25 so this this is just magical Re reducing penetration especially if you got a durant this is just going to be like game breaking if you got a decreased damage goalkeeper now, let's go to our friends in the Thunder. So we'll start with Silent Co. Increased pass effect and critical damage. So it's still increased pass effect, but critical damage has been lowered to 15%, making it, again, completely obsolete. Passives of Stones can do better than that on every player. So I'm also going to say this is pretty much dead to us. 
Now, it's... If you have it on, just get ready to change it. Especially, there's a new light pass stone. If you change the element, really cool. Now, the next one in the list is Shaking Heart of Thunder. Increased critical damage by 30%. Um, and critical... Wait, no. Increased critical... Yeah. And critical rate by 20. I don't remember what it was maxed out. And I got a feeling it's lower. But I don't really know. So, I'm not gonna judge. Uh, Glabaris, whose name I can never pronounce, if I remember correctly, this is 45%, has been lowered to 35, and will do increase attack power by 20, it's a small nerf, kinda, because we just use it for penetration. Now, this is one of the stones that's gonna be the most buffed in the update ever. Increase defense by 30%, recover height by 15% when attacked, increase critical resistance by 25%, that's just great. That actually made Raclette have the same heal as an Isilla, who I kind of find abnormally high, but, you know, I could just give this to Isilla and make a 50% heal even in PvP. That could be really cool. I'm actually going to consider that. Now, what is really cool in Thunder, if you're a Thunder user, are the new uniques. The first one is buff, and the second one is cool. And when I mean cool, I mean really, really cool. So the first one is action speed increased by 25% when not holding the ball. With action speed cap, that's pretty sad. Uh, decrease inflicted damage by 25%. Okay. And increase attack power by 50%. It, it kind of just sounds great. The speed part is a joke, but the rest sounds cool. Now, the one who I find is basically broken is increase reflex by 25% and recover spirit by 30% of a critical hit. I know Belle will have it every time I meet her from now on, but this is going to be frustrating. I might even somehow change meta stones for this. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking about it. I'm checking the other stones out. But this is some really cool reflex. And Thousand Watchers will be nerfed. And Battalion will also be nerfed. So you got to start thinking about it. Now... Protection of Mother Earth, decrease infected damage 20%, critical rest 25 but that's just decent. I'm, I'm not going to say no to it. That's a very good value. Um, Ancient Stormer Goddess Action Bar Nerf. So it's 15% action speed, 20% action bar. I don't understand why that's a unique. That's still pretty low. Uh, Prayer Sentence, Pass Effect 45, Recover Spirit 35. I'm not even sure that's a change. Uh, Earth Cry, Decrease Inflicted Damage 30%, Increase Attack Power by 35%. Well, I think maybe they gain 5% on the attack power. Or did they lose 5 here? That's not really clear to me, but it's still pretty close again. Not that big a deal. Now, there's there is something weird. I, I, I don't really know how their, what their notion of vertical means, because I don't know how they look at the field from what angle. But they're saying increase defense by 20%, increase crit rate of allies within vertical position by 15%. So, if you put this back right and your striker's front right, he gets the buff? That's not totally clear to me, but depending on how it actually works, you could do some really cool stuff for COT or COD. We'll see, but for PvP, this is not the unique stone you're going to use. And one who I find really cool, who I sense I'm going to be saying a lot, increase pen power by 25%, 20% uh, increase crit rates, but wait, increase crit rate by 20% of an attack, accumulatable four times. Well, Beatrice just found her new stone. It was actually not that bad. Now in the light, aka my main element. As you can guess, the ones who no one used didn't get touched, sadly. Thousand Watchers. Increase attack power by 70% when attacked. Same as always. Now increase reflex of allied within the position by 15%. It's a line buff. It's no longer meta buff, meaning Bef can hold it and meta can be holding something else. I sadly thought I was going to give her battalion, but that also got nerfed, so that's sad. Hermulation, I do not know why this was not buffed. It kind of sucks and it stays exactly the same. 25-25%. Metatron's will, so 
basically everything stayed the same except action bar went down to 25 percent so now they're both 25 percent it's it's not that bad except crit rate can only stack three times i'm gonna say using it for a striker is now dead using it midline is possible um i'm not even gonna say it's that good anymore but you know there's other stones paradise of light aka leah stone nothing happened to it just just they're leaving it leah's there we just leave it i ironically am now using the xp thing just i'm, I'm farming to get five stars this kind of sad now the new ones and this is what i'm gonna say one of the most op stones that was added with the update Increased critical damage by 25% with an attack. Accumulates up to 5 times. And there's just no time limit on that, because imagine they would add one. And just in case this wasn't clear enough to you that this is going on Vanshi, increased receive pass effect by 45%. So, if anyone doesn't know exactly who our great friend Vanshmeister is, it's this guy. And he's got already by base a 25%. So basically, that means that he's going to be stacking 50% five times, giving him, from just his stats alone, a 300% critical damage. I hope you guys have a critical resistance, because you're going to feel it really hard. Now, let's keep going down the list, and I will make that stone happen. I will promise you on my fortune that I will make it happen. And I'm going to be doing the first minute there's a discount event, I'm throwing all my money into getting new stones. Specifically, that's the one I want, but other stones are also pretty cool. Uh, now, there's also something else that is kind of the new passer stone. It is increase uh, pass effect by 45% and recover action bar by 10% of a pass. I don't know why we care about the action bar, but the pass effect of 45 is really high. So I'm just hyped about that. Uh, it's light, so, you know, Scylla users, you can just give her that. Uh, it's kind of better than Prey Sentence. Or wait, did Prey Sentence disappear? Oh no, Prey Sentence is a uh, wormwind. But basically, it's like the Prey Sentence. The only difference is that at the place you get Action Bar in case of Spirit. Just do what you want. Now, let's talk about the dark side. So, recover action bar 25, receive pass effect 35, I'm pretty sure those are the current stats. And then everything else, but, well, except for this one, who's my favorite stone, got nerfed. So, encompassing soul is increased critical damage by 45%. Recover uh, inflicted damage critical hit was lowered to 20%, but it used to be 25, so it's not that bad. And exchanged, they decided that we recover 10% first. I don't know how you're doing your map, but that's clearly a buff. Unless you were doing one hell of a critical damage. I'm pretty happy that this stone is on already two of my players. And I'm going to try to add it on more, because 10% heal before even the extra heal, before calculating anything, is just a really great buff from a stone. Now, the one who really lost in this game... Why am I keep mistaking them? Battalion. This used to be what I would consider one of the swaggiest stone, and I was honestly trying to get it. Yeah, it's no longer the case. Decrease inflicted damage by 25% when you hold the ball. Increase attack power by 60%, um, and decrease the inflicted damage by 10% when attacked. So... You just lost a lot of decrease... And your attack power is the same, basically. It, I just I just look at the decrease and I just feel bad for the people using it. I'm I'm no longer feeling bad. I don't have it. Uh, something that you could finally use against a Vonchmeister, because as I said, the critical damage is gonna be OP. They've invented increased critical damage resistance by 35 and increased critical resistance by 25. Now, I just want to point something out. Critical damage resistance. I personally don't remember the stat being on any player, or maybe I'm just bad at remembering what the goalkeepers could do. I don't think so. So basically, it's going to be cool. It means that they're just not going to be that hard. 
Oh, actually, the stat was there. Well, I've never actually played with it, so I'm just I'm just spitballing that it's cool. I, I don't really know. I'm not gonna use it, but if you want to. And the last thing is gonna be what I'm gonna say is again very sad. Uh, action speed increased by 15% and decreased critical resistance of enemy within the vertical position by 10%. Now, what does this actually mean? Put your player mid, and like this, the goalkeeper has lower resistance. But critical resistance, 10%. How much crit resistance do you think we're stacking? I'm personally seeing everyone at the 240s, 260s, 180s. 10% ain't gonna make a difference. But if you somehow believe it will, be my guest. So this is it for the notes. I sadly do not have the info on the rare. When I finally get it, I'm going to make a video on that. Again, just go back to the notes if there's a specific one you want to know about. And I hope this helps people understand what are the new uniques, what is coming, and which ones are going to clearly be OP. AKA, that new Light Striker Stone, that Reflex Thunderstone. I mean, th those two just scared the shit out of me. Well, they scare me if they're on the opponent. But knowing the amount of people who play users with light slots, it's going to take quite a while before I actually have to face that. So have a good day, guys, and uh, I'm going to see if I can get any more info, and I'll post that up too.